Well, Jacksonville is getting ready to keep a closer eye on you. The city council will introduce legislation tonight to approve a proposed citywide upgrade of surveillance cameras and tie them into a crime fighting center. News for Jack's reporter Jim Pickett has been following this plan since its inception and shows us what's being considered. What you're looking at is made through a surveillance camera here at News for Jacks. But you know, the city has over 1,700 cameras like this all around Jacksonville. The plan now is to tie them all together in order to fight crime. And they want to spend over three and a half million dollars right now to do it. The plan is to create a real-time crime center, tying in surveillance cameras from across the city that are currently on city property, outside cameras at libraries, parks, and public buildings. Eventually, some of them will work with ShotSpotter, a gunfire detection system that already alerts police when gun blasts are heard. This new system will then turn on cameras in those areas where the shots are ringing out. Any cameras that are on the outside basically um, have public access. We would want to be able to pull video if we had to for an investigation. Of the 1,700 or so city cameras, most are inside buildings. Police will be able to use only those cameras that are outside. Right now, during this test, they're only using a few cameras. That will change by summer. Once the, all the cameras are up, we'll have an additional 100 cameras, but There'll be two cameras per location, so really 50 additional locations is what we could see hopefully by the, uh, by the summertime is what we're expecting. The real-time crime center is located at the transportation center on the west side where cameras are already installed to show roadways and traffic. So right now it's just being introduced to city council. They're not going to debate it for a while, but in about a month we could see this approved. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.